So unless you've been living under a rock, you've likely heard about the new virtual switch released by Juniper called the V Juno switch. And it's essentially a virtual EX series switch. If you're familiar with the hardware platform, well, this would be the virtual equivalent. So with that being said, I'll be showing how to get this image downloaded and installed in your EVNG environment. All right, so the first thing I wanna do here is go to Google and type in Juniper V Junos Switch Download. And I wanna click on the first link here that pops up, which is from Juniper Networks to download this switch. So I click the link and it takes me to this download page. And you'll notice this note right here stating to use the links above in order to download this product because it's currently not searchable if you were to just go to the Juniper software downloads page. So I'll go ahead and click this first link. That'll take me to this VJuno switch image running 23.1. And I'll go ahead and download that image file. It'll prompt me to accept the license agreement. I'll click agree and proceed. And here, I'll go ahead and click here to download that to my local machine. So that'll take just a moment and I'll speed this up to when it's done. All right, so now that I can see that that's successfully downloaded to my system, the VGNO switch running 23.1R1.H, I'll go back to Google and I'll search Juniper VGNOs EVNG. That'll pull up the EVNG documentation for how to import this device into their platform. This is really what I'm looking for right here. How do I need to name this particular device in order for it to show up properly in the EVNG system? So I need it to create a file. Uh, I need to name the folder in which this image will reside as VJuno switch, and I'll be naming the actual image itself Vertoa or however you pronounce that. So I'll go ahead and do that. So here I'll go ahead and launch a WinSCP application over to my EVNG server. I'll type in the IP address of that server, specify my username and password. All right, and here I successfully connect. I'll now go ahead and navigate to my directory, opt, unit lab, add-ons, QMU, and I want to create a folder or directory in this case titled the way that I just saw a moment ago. So if I click in this background and I look at how this is structured, I'll just go ahead and copy this um, up until this point since that's all that's needed. And I'll go ahead and paste that in. I'm running 23.1R1. Uh, Dot eight, so that's just what I'll specify my folder as. And here, I wanna go ahead and copy this image over to this folder. So I'll give that just a moment and I'll see you when it's done. All right, so now that I have that switch successfully imported into the folder, I'll go ahead and rename this according to what I just saw in this file here. So I'll rename this as Vertora and I'll keep the ending portion. All right, so that's all set and ready to go. So I'll go ahead and log in to my EVNG server. All right, and now I wanna run the command fix permissions. So I don't actually have copy and paste functionality since I'm using this particular terminal. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and type that in. UNL wrapper dash A fix permissions, and I'll hit enter. All right, it says valid and it checks out. All right, so now I'll go back to even G and if I go over here to add a node and I type Juniper, I can see I now have, have access to this Juniper VEX switch. So I'll click that and I'll leave everything as the default and I'll click save. And here you can see I just have that single appliant, whereas previously with the VQFX switch, there were two, you had the RE and the PFE. Well, they've condensed everything down to where I only need to spin up one virtual image. So I'll go ahead and start this and I'll see you when it's done. All right, so after about 12 minutes of waiting on the device to boot, it's come online. I logged in with the default username of root and here from the CLI, if I do a show interface terse, pipe match GE dash asterisk. I can see my 10 interfaces show present. So sweet. 
well, definitely keep me posted and uh, let me know in the comments what designs you come up with and what scenarios you utilize this switch for in your own environments. Well, that is the end of this video. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.